Okay, so I am Jonathan Bricklin, and I am here with Jeff Staple, uh, legendary uh, artist, businessman, and ping pong player. <laughs> Not um, ping pong player, but fine. Yeah, well, <laughs> our my definition of uh, legendary, uh, he definitely. <laughs> Thank is. you. So Jeff Staple Design here. We'll start with uh, is. Fairly new, I hear that you just opened a, a few months ago. What's and, that? Uh, Jeff Staple Design. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and uh, so no one would have ever heard of it. Right. But uh, you're a quintessential New Yorker. You you uh, yeah. you grew up here or where'd you grow? I grew up in Jersey, in Jersey. like 30 minutes out. Um, okay. Went to NYU. Went to Parsons School of Design. So I've been in a resident of New York since like '96. Uh, no, '93. Sorry. Wow, ninety three, yeah. Did you did you ever pass a ping pong club when you were uh, no. as a kid? No, we had a ping pong table in our house. Okay, because we were Chinese, okay. so we had to. <laughs> so and uh, ping pong was just part of my life from from birth. Do you have a earliest ping pong memory that stands out? Yes, uh, as I mentioned, I had a ping pong table in my household since I was very young, from birth, I think. Uh, and I remember, uh, I'm, an, I'm an only child, so I didn't have brothers and sisters. I also wasn't very social when I was young. I didn't have a lot of friends. So I remember I had to learn uh, how to play ping pong by myself. And I didn't have one of those fold-up tables, so I would just lob the ball back and, and run forth around. and run around. Wow. Yeah, and very sad, but you know, taught me the game and taught me cardio and like, you know, it's, it's one of the earliest memories I have. It's amazing. I consider you an artist. Do you mm -hmm. consider yourself an artist or no. more of a businessman? I don't consider myself an artist. No, really? No, I'm a designer and a business person, and I'm a pretty good meld of the two, but artist is like a whole nother universe that I dare not classify myself in, you know? Is there someone that uh, inspired you to become who you are today? Like, that you, um, like not your parents though, like someone. Yeah, yeah, so my heroes were sort of like an amalgamation of different people, uh -huh. whether it be musicians, businessmen, graphic designers, and fashion designers, you know, yeah. so there was like, Ralph Lauren on one hand, but then like Tibor Kalman on the other hand, and then, you know, like Diddy on one hand, but then like, you know, uh, BB and CC Winans, like gospel singers on the other end. Like it was just all like this wide picture that painted everything. But very balanced too. Like you, you yeah. those are good references. Yes, yes, I, all I over that. the place. Yep. Yeah. Do you think that ping pong has played a really important uh, aspect in your life professionally, mm -hmm. um, creatively? Um, I it. had sexually in there. I don't really yeah. know where I was coming from with that. So I'm going to omit that okay. one for now. Okay. And uh, <laughs> sexually would have definitely been no. But <laughs> creatively and yeah. professionally. All of those, creatively, professionally, personally, it's definitely added a ton to my life. Not superficially, like meaningfully, like, yeah. a, like material difference. Yes, absolutely. It holds a place in my heart from when I was really young and it still does today. So it's not just a nostalgic thing. Um, but it's always been there and it's always sort of applied to different phases of my life. So I'll give you an example, like when I was a kid, obviously it, it had a lot of like social things going on and family ties. It was a very sort of like family bonding thing. Uh -huh. And then as I got older, um, it, with PT3, it became sort of a more of like a, I mean, this is a really watered down way of saying it, but like a networking thing, but it became a way for me to tie with other brands, other corporations sure. and stuff. And now it's really interesting where like, I could almost have a conversation with someone without words through ping pong. Like yeah. I can get along with someone. I could know someone's like personality through their ping pong style. Absolutely. And it's it's really like this unsaid conversation that's really dope. That's beautiful. Just in January, we just released a highly coveted sneaker with Nike. We did a collaboration with Nike. It sold out globally in minutes, and there were no pairs left for anyone to get. I secured a few pairs. And when I went to Vegas to this trade show, I sort of went on social media and I said, hey, we've got a, a special Nike staple ping pong table set up. If anyone wants to challenge me to a game of 11 and beats me, I will give you a pair of these dunks. Wow, which are almost in... Uh, yeah, on... they're like, on the aftermarket, they're worth like thousands of dollars, like three, three to four thousand dollars. So you're so confident that you're not gonna lose. Right. That you're willing to give yeah. away three thousand dollar pair of shoes. Yeah, I was really confident, but also, and Very much setting myself up for possible extreme failure. You thought that was possible? You were prepared. I mean, there is a reality where, yeah, 100 people could have beaten me, right? Totally. Yeah. I so mean, the thing about ping pong <laughs> is you feel like on any given Sunday, you got a chance. Even yeah. like, if there was an Olympian here, totally. I would be like, maybe he'll, yes. he'll, he'll be suck. He'll, he'll yeah, be yeah, yeah, for, totally. Well, so I played like 150 too. people over the course of two days 
and two people beat me. Wow. Yeah. That's incredible. Yes, and one per day. It was perfect, perfectly executed. I've always made this comparison, and I think people always thought it was insane, but I like to think of ping pong as an extreme sport without any risk of injury. That's great. Because you have to be present. Yes. You have to be. You can't look at right. your phone and hit the ping pong ball. It's, right. all, it's going too fast. But you don't die if you, yeah. if you if mess you, up. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> Do you have a favorite body part, an organ, or a personality trait that you really, like, okay. is really important to you? I'm going to pick personality trait. Okay. Um, <laughs> For 10, Alex. Yes. <laughs> My favorite personality trait is patience. That's when I see someone exhibit patience, I, I feel like I'm most sort of like uh, impressed by those people. Mm -hmm. And I always try to like exhibit a level of patience to a very, very high degree. Love that. Yeah. What's the most comical mistake that you've ever made that you can recall in a professional setting? Like, oh, okay. I mean, just not ping pong. Okay. Or um, ping pong, quite frankly. It's comical just ping pong. I'll never forget this story because this is classic. So, you know, I had just started my brand. We're probably less than five years in, but we scored a major distributor in a huge market region in the world, right? Okay. Like this is one of those places where you're like, we need to have a distributor here. We got one. Did some great business with them for a few years. And then one season we send our delivery over a whole shipment and they're like, hey, we're, we're short like X, Y, Z number of pieces, you know, and we're, we're checking our packing list and everything. We're like, no, we're just not sure. We like recounted this. We know it's good. Like, and so they're probably like lying to us and saying like we're short so that we can send them more stuff. Uh -huh. Right. So like in this email exchange, I send an email to my head of sales and I'm like, how do we know these fucking guys aren't like stealing shit from us? I sent that to everyone <laughs> <laughs> and like I hit send and then I saw it and it was like no. and I literally was like Nico we can go on a plane and fly to their office and right now like <laughs> I was like no we can't do that like I'm fucked like, did you lose fucked. the job no we didn't lose the job did they find it refreshing that you were no so no <laughs> I had to write a, a weird apology email like that w were they stealing Maybe it you didn't matter them. at that Maybe point. Maybe you stopped them from stealing. <laughs> Turn sideways. All right. Um, all right, early, all right. Okay, this was uh, one of my favorites. And then, um, all right, Jeff, do you have a signature ping pong move that you break out when yeah, you need to? I do. It's pretty good. Can you share it with us? Is this a secret? Or? No, no, it's not. It is a uh, backhand to reverse flip forehand. So. If you hit it like extreme to my backhand side, uh -huh. I'll hit it back and then do a spin, like a 180 spin around and be back over here like okay. instantly. But spin away from the table. Spin like, back toward this way. For dramatic effect? Yes, which the dramatic or, effect alone usually like confuses the opponent for yeah, a second. Yeah, yeah. Like what did he just do? And then yeah. forgets about the ball. Yeah. I like it. Jeff, I love pizza as much as mm. anything in this world. Like mm -hmm. ping pong and pizza are among like my top yeah. things. I Me too. I can't get away from pizza. So if you had to live without one of them, yeah. which would it be? Gotta say bye bye ping pong. Bye bye ping pong. Yeah. Pizza's oh. pizza Pizza's like too good. It's like a it keeps me going like every wow. week. It's like my my finish line for like a successful week. I'm so, like, I deserve a pizza now this week. The last question is, if you could play ping pong with anybody in alive, dead, throughout history, who would it be? Um, hmm. There's so many people, but maybe Walt Disney. He'd awesome. be really fun to play with, right? I love that answer. And maybe like during the game, you could like, he'd be fun just even if you didn't talk to him, but like, you can maybe glean a couple of like nuggets of insight off of him. Totally. Would yeah. you win or lose? I would. Uh, I would play him to the very end. I I get points and then I'd let him win. <laughs> really? <laughs> Have you ever let anyone win? Yes, of course. Of course. Yeah. Like for professional reasons or for no, personal? usually be because they're really hot or something. <laughs> <laughs>